Nowadays, when remote work is becoming the norm, the laptop you choose is more than just a device. It's your portal to productivity, creativity, and connection. So in this video, we've composed a brief consumer guide and reviewed the top five best laptops you can buy in 2024. For more information on the products, we've included links in the description box down below. Let's get started. ProArt Studio Book 16 OLED The ProArt Studio Book 16 OLED is an impressive laptop made with content creators in mind. From its versatile input dial and 4K OLED screen, the all-aluminum Studio Book is built like a tank, just as rigid in its lid and chassis as the standard for great build quality, Apple's MacBook Pro. The laptop aesthetic is more laid back, with a solid black color scheme and a simple embossed ProArt logo on the lid. The palm rest and keyboard deck blend in together, and a responsive glass-topped trackpad that feels great to the touch. In addition to these must-haves, Asus has also added two interesting features that make the Studio Book stand out. Three physical buttons below the trackpad and a mechanical dial. One of the most important aspects of a content creator laptop is its display, and this one's a beauty. The 3.2K 120Hz OLED touchscreen has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, resulting in a super sharp and vibrant screen in combination with the rich colors and deep blacks of OLED technology. ASUS claims 100% coverage of the DCI-P3 color gamut. The panel is also factory calibrated for color accuracy to meet Pantone validated standards, with additional Kalman verified certification. The ProArt StudioBook 16 comes with an Intel Core i9-13980H processor and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 GPU paired with 32GB of RAM and 1TB of SSD storage. It has liquid cooling, takes up as much space as a suitcase, and when you switch it on the lights dim all over town, these specs would make the ProArt StudioBook a very impressive creator's laptop and it's perfectly capable of handling heavy workloads in apps like Premiere Pro, Affinity Photo, or Blender. The Studio Book has a 90 watt hour battery. It managed just 4.5 hours of web browsing and 6.25 hours looping video. Overall, the ProArt Studio Book is ideal for everything from video or image editing to 3D rendering. It laughs at 4K video, plays games, flies through raw image processing, and looks good while doing it. Lenovo Slim Pro 9i. It's not an inexpensive laptop, but the Lenovo Slim 9i has a build quality and performance that makes it worth the investment. The chassis of the Slim Pro 9i looks pretty basic, with a dull gray finish and minor highlights like a small Lenovo logo in the corner of the lid and a mirrored stripe behind the webcam. Measuring nearly five pounds, this is a desktop replacement rather than ultra portable, but certainly manageable in a briefcase or backpack. The backlit keyboard is also predictably luminous, with Lenovo's trademark 1.5mm key travel and slightly rounded keycaps providing a comfortably spaced keyboard with a numeric keypad. Built with a stunning 16-inch 3200x2000 pixel mini LED touch display, at a 165Hz refresh rate, no one will walk away disappointed from the Slim Pro 9i lustrous glossy screen. The mini LED display quotes an extremely high maximum brightness of 1200 nits in HDR, 100% Adobe RGB, and 100% DCI-P3. It's great for creative work and for consuming HDR media due to Dolby Vision HDR support. The Slim 9i also packs some seriously strong performance with the latest Intel Core i9-13905H CPU NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 GPU, paired with an ample 32GB of RAM and a decently sized 1TB of SSD storage. This allows you to chew through pretty much any major workload out there on the go. And while it won't be as powerful as the best workstation sitting on top of a desk, this is about as good as you're going to get. The Slim Pro 9i packs a 75 watt hour battery into its thick chassis. That's a reasonably large battery for most laptops. Overall, the Lenovo Slim Pro 9i is a powerhouse that delivers on most fronts, built with a stunning display, swift productivity metrics, and formidable gaming performance. But its inability to last a full workday is unforgivable. Razorblade 18. 
The Blade 18 is a testament to Razer's commitment to delivering premium gaming and editing experiences. With its stunning metal finish and sleek design, this laptop is a head-turner and one of the best 18-inch laptops. Design-wise, Razer's aluminum body is super sturdy, with almost no flex on its lid and deck. Its keyboard also feels great and comes with per-key RGB lighting. Though some may be a bit dismayed that Razer couldn't find room for a numpad, even on a laptop this big. All Blade 18 models come with a QHD plus 2560x6000 display with a 240Hz refresh rate. While fans of 4K may be put off by the lack of a 4K option here, they really shouldn't be. It's a premium feature that delivers the perfect balance between detailed visuals and frame rates fast enough to keep you competitive. Six speakers with three smart amps pump out quality sound, even when you aren't wearing a quality gaming headset. And the five megapixel camera can be used for streaming. Under the hood, the Blade 18 boasts a powerful Intel Core, i9-13-950HX processor, and the latest RTX 4090 GPU, ensuring top-notch performance for high-end gaming and demanding content creation tasks. When it comes to RAM and storage, Razer does not disappoint, as the laptop is packed with 32 gigabytes of RAM and a two terabyte of SSD storage, which are more than enough for most users. Per-key RGB lighting for the keyboard is customizable, and overall you get a comfy feel with N-key rollover for a snappy touch. Don't expect much in the way of battery life from the Razer Blade 18. The Blade 18 lasted a decent five hours and 20 minutes for browsing and multimedia use. That's terrible for most laptops, but not bad for gaming laptops, which tend to be power hogs even when not gaming. Overall, the Blade 18 is the biggest and most powerful gaming laptop from Razer. It's incredibly expensive, but it represents the pinnacle of modern laptop design. Dell XPS 13 Plus. If you're looking for something special, the Dell XPS 13 Plus is for you. Its chic case and top display make it an ultrabook that is more than just a work machine for text and spreadsheets. Like its predecessors, the XPS 13 Plus offers a lovely OLED display with impressively thin bezels and packs a roomy, comfortable keyboard. It also features a new minimalist design that looks more modern. The display is fantastic on the XPS 13 Plus, being a 13.4 inch panel with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. The base configuration is a full HD plus IPS panel but you can go up to a 3.5K 3465 by 2160 OLED panel or an Ultra HD plus 3840 by 2400 IPS display, complete with 100% coverage of Adobe RGB. All of these display options are fantastic, including the base configuration. Performance-wise, the laptop packs Intel's 13th generation P-series processors up to an Intel Core i7-1360P delivering fantastic performance for day-to-day -day tasks and more demanding workloads. It also has integrated Intel Iris Xe graphics. Plus, you can get it with 32 gigabytes of RAM and up to a two terabyte SSD for storage. The XPS 13 Plus packed a 4,761 milliamp hour battery and lasted for eight hours, which isn't at all bad. Overall, the Dell XPS 13 Plus combines a stunning design with very impressive performance for a laptop this compact. And the OLED display and comfy keyboard are both great, but the short battery life and capacitive function row will give some pause. 2023 MacBook Pro M3 Max. The MacBook Pro 16 inch M3 Max is a wonderfully powerful laptop that'll seriously improve various workflows for the right buyer. It also has a fantastic screen, an unmatched keyboard and touchpad, and a good selection of ports. Other than the new space black color and a slightly brighter display, the outer appearance of the 2023 16-inch MacBook Pro remains unchanged from what you're used to. It's an aluminum unibody clamshell laptop with flat sides. Besides the coating being a bit darker than usual, there's nothing new to see here. The six-speaker system is so good for watching movies or listening to music. The display, which Apple calls Liquid Retina XDR, is a 120 Hz, 3456 by 2234 mini LED panel that looks great. Covering 100% of the P3 color gamut, it also allows for HDR playback of content, whether it's videos shot on an iPhone or via a supported streaming service or YouTube. 
Apple says content can hit 1,600 nits of brightness in certain HDR instances. The display also has True Tone and supports promotion, which adjusts the refresh rate up to 120 Hz based on what's on the screen. This computer comes with a baseline of 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage, which is more than enough to run multiple demanding programs at once. Everything you do on your MacBook Pro M3 Max will look great, thanks to the ultra high definition screen with a 120 Hz refresh rate that prevents any tearing or lag whether you're playing a game, watching a movie, or working with complex software. The M3 Max MacBook Pro has the same 100 watt hour lithium polymer battery and 22 hour battery life with Apple TV app movie playback as it did with the M2 Max MacBook Pro. In the box, there's a 140 watt plug and a USB-C to MagSafe cable that clicks in magnetically. Overall, this is a laptop that gets it all right from the design, ports, and display to the power of the chip inside and the battery life. There's something very satisfying when using a great tool, and that's the feeling you get when using a MacBook Pro.